Well, you're just in time. Me and Chuck and Mike. Come on, guys. Just left the grocery store. I put my bags in the car, and I decided to come over here and see what's going on. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing fine, thank you. <laughs> I want to go to Suzanne's office. Um, I have um, one of our interns, Grisa. Does it make yeah. noise, this peep? No. It doesn't it's, quack? It's very cute, though. It is cute. Too bad it doesn't quack. I know. Maybe we can get a quacker and put it in there. I love quacky toys. While we were buying the dog food, I also picked up some toys for, um, um, I was about to say my son. <sighs> kind of starting to treat him that way. I can't believe I'm so in love with a mangy animal. Suzanne. Hello? Oh my gosh! We had this when Kevin was a kid! Yes. Yes. It wasn't that big though, was yeah, it? Yes, yes. No. Well, hold on. Because he was so funny with it. The little tiny ones that float around the top. Yes. He'd be like, you know, quack, quack, quack. Uh-huh. When I introduced him to this one, I said, what does this one say? He said, quack. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, this is my child. He totally gets... Okay, that's really funny. Yeah, quack. Because I've never seen that one so big. I don't know where that came from. Do you want that? No, those years are over, dear. Okay, all right, yeah. I'm looking for someone who has a baby, maybe. Who can take that? Because I don't need it any longer. My kids are past that. <laughs> yeah, well, you have it sitting down on your mangy floor. I know. Just it, put it on my, t my table over there. It m takes up too much room. Yeah. We don't care about this yeah, baby get rid stuff. Yeah, get rid <laughs> of it. That's what I was saying about the dog, though. I can't believe that I am so in love, in love. with a mangy animal. Isn't that I can't amazing? believe I've been so emotional. Well, give me a tissue. Oh, God, I only have napkins. It's so, that's fine. Okay, they're clean, I promise. Is it a coronet? I, it could be a coronet. I got it from the kitchen. Vanity Fair? Yeah, Vanity Fair. I love a uh, Vanity, Vanity Fair. Vanity Fair, Fair they're the best. I only buy them for special occasions. No. Thanksgiving? No. My okay. mother used to only buy, well, first of all, my mother was always cloth, cloth napkins. <clears throat> and then when she got over that, it was Vanity Fair. Really? But only special occasions. Yes. Now, to me, every day is a special occasion. Really? Yep. You, so at home, you use those as regular napkins? Every day. <laughs> Good for yep. you. Oh, you know you've made it when you can afford Vanity Fair for every day. That's because I get my wall, exactly. I got my leggings down exactly. the street at the, uh, <laughs> oh, those are the lined ones, right? Yo, yes. I gotta try those. I'm telling you, you've Suzanne. got nice new sneakers, too. No, they're not new. No. It's just that I don't they wear them a lot. They look, I have clown feet in these. these no, they're almost very comfy. No, do you see how they fan out in the front? Wait, hold Wait, on. Wait, let me see. Look, do you see? For a big foot, you, you know uh, what I mean? Very masculine. Yeah. They fan out in the front. Yeah, no, they're okay. I love those. Well, those they, are great. They look cute on Saturday night when I was on my day. Is that what you wore out? No, I told you oh, I wore cutoffs oh, yeah. in the panty yeah. formation. You know what that is. That means you don't cut them off straight. Jessica, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You cut Can them in the go, panty formation. Yeah, uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. no, no, everyone got Spicy. that. People were dying like... <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. Suzanne. I'm glad that you love your dog. That's really sweet. I really do. And and I, I mean, he, Suzanne, every weekend, there's always something. He's, But I love him. And we, re well, I don't wrestle him, but he certainly... He has a different relationship with all three of us in the house. And right. he definitely knows I'm the mom. Right. And the girl. Right. And he tends to um, be too playful. Okay. Like he thinks he only okay. weighs 20 pounds. Right. When right. Really, he's, he's 100 but, pounds. Yeah. But what am I going to do? Keep him outside in the yard? No, no. No. You can't do that. So I love him. That's so sweet. Do you Ugh. let him sit on the couch with you? Well, no, he doesn't sit on the couch anymore. Okay. Um, because um, he's too big for that. Okay. There's not room for both of us. All right. <laughs> but what he what he does do is he'll rest his paws on the ottoman. Uh huh. And and with the two back um, paws down on the ground. Does he watch TV with you and everything? Yeah. That's so sweet. You don't follow me on the gram. I see you on the gram, but I haven't seen him with you watching TV. Well, he doesn't really watch. Okay. He feels as though you know. But really, Mom? Another Lifetime movie? Can I just tell you, we, I love Lifetime. I was watching with Jack, and he saw the, the promos with you. And you're talking about the Mother's Day show and all that. And he goes, oh, my gosh. That Wendy, she's so famous. She's on Lifetime now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the funniest That's thing. That's funny. Uh-huh. Yeah, I forgot to tell you that. Did uh, I tell you that? 
Yeah, the, my favorite is people doing the how you do it. Yeah. And then you come on and, and you're like, I'm the only one that does it right. Yeah, how you do it? Yeah, it's so good. Mother's Day is um Sunday yeah. and I'm hosting it's two new movies. Good ones, not the sappy ones. Two good ones. Um, on Lifetime. Are the wives trying to kill their husbands and stuff? Look, if there's okay. not killing, yeah. drugs, some yeah. sort of like addiction or yes. something in a movie, yes. I'm, I'm not into it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Like you like the Hallmark channel. No, no, I only like Hallmark at Christmas, which this is what I've been meaning to tell you. I watch Lifetime. Oh. I only watch Hallmark at Christmas because I like their Christmas movies. But the rest of the year is Har Hallmark. Your hair is really thick. Are you using a new shampoo? No, it's just um, it's just growing out. Remember, I cut it. But, but I'm, I'm saying even up here, this like I, I, I don't, like I don't know. Did you I, wash your hair over the weekend I or something? Did, I do. I washed it this morning. Oh, I, this morning. Yeah, and okay. I brought and I brushed it. That helps. It looks good. Thank you. Thank All you. right. So Suzanne is reasonably uh, um, normal. <clears throat> So I thought, you know, she's a married woman, the mother of Jack and Pete, and, you know, she's got a reasonably decent job. Mm -hmm. And, uh... I hear Norman. Gossiping. Yeah. Okay, look, all right. Get we need to help people. This okay. is from uh, Natasha in Rhode Island. Okay. Hey, Wendy. I'm an exercise senior major. Senior major, and during my practical, who oh, uses that word? Wow! Wow! My my teacher asked me to demonstrate the exercise. Okay. When I finished, I saw he had an erection. <laughs> Should I be worried? Do I drop out of the class? Oh no! She's gonna get an A. I wouldn't. I wouldn't acknowledge this, you know, situation with his pain, but I also wouldn't drop out of the class. No. You're already in the class. Yes. And it fits into your schedule. Don't you schedule all your classes around particular things? Yeah. I don't, just don't, like, be alone with him or right. date him or anything. Right. But she's going to get a good grade. Yeah. Stay in the class. Yeah. Stay in it. Yep. <laughs> don't acknowledge it, though. No. And don't tell your friends. Like, you told me that's enough. You know what I mean? When you say acknowledge, like, don't, like, look there. Don't look. Or, and don't bring it up. And don't bring it up. Okay. And also, don't hold his gaze too long when you speak to him. Yes, yes. Okay. You know, he's the kind of teacher that when you speak to him, you want to break gaze. Like, say that's the teacher and I'm you. Okay. You know, you go like this, okay. you break gaze. Okay. You break gaze. Always with the door open, break gaze. No, you're looking, but I'm breaking gaze. Okay, okay, got it, okay. got it. Here's the next one. <clears throat> Hey Wendy, I've taken your advice and have been on oh oh been dating as much as I can. Oh, good. Well, this is apparently somebody who consulted my practice <laughs> in the past. <laughs> I've been dating as much as I can. I'm 20 years old and I feel like settling down is not in the plans for me at the moment. The guys that I've been dating all think that they are the only ones I'm seeing. <gasps> oh. But that's all right, no harm, no foul. The other day I went on a date with one of the guys to a basketball game. I was having a great time and we even got on the kiss cam. Oh, oh, so they were at like a real, a real basketball right. game. Okay. About five minutes later, I got a text from one of the other guys saying, how could you lie to me? Apparently, he was at the same game and saw on the big screen. Oh. This is not the best part. Oh. My date who I was with saw the message. Oh. Okay. I told my date that the text was from an overprotective brother, and he believed uh, me. Oh. Wendy, I really like them both, <gasps> but I've gotten myself into a huge mess. What do I do? You're 20. Yeah. Do you? Mm. Mm -hmm. Do you, in the name of Raw Digger. <laughs> <laughs> That's a rapper from Jersey. Oh. See, Leah is from yeah. Jersey. Oh. And Raw Digger did oh, this song I have no called... Idea who you were talking I'm about. I'm going to do me. Oh, that's the do you. Oh, okay. But Jessica's nodding. She yeah. knows. Okay, do, yeah, do, do you. Do me, do you. Do you, boo. Yeah. You know what? Do you. You know what? Yeah, she's and young. Just, Why not? Please, please. And don't be so sloppy. And also, these two guys, do you know how many other guys are out there for you? 20 years old. Cute Leah from Jersey. Mm. All right. 
Hey Wendy, this is from Dana in Brooklyn. My best friend has been telling me that she doesn't think my boyfriend and I are a good match. Every time we go out in a group, she seems to get annoyed when she sees us acting like a couple. The other day, she let me borrow her phone and I saw a bunch of pictures of him saved in her phone. Oh. And he was in all her recent searches on her social media. Oh. Should I say something or ignore it? Oh. Dana, I don't know how old you are, but this is not your friend. Mm -mm. You ignore mm -mm. it by giving, give her the final conversation and then block her from your entire life. Mm. And the final conversation is going to leave with the pinky. Mm. Let me tell you something. Mm. I know what you're up to. Mm -hmm. Don't tell your boyfriend. Mm -hmm. You say, mm -hmm. be a big girl. Mm -hmm. Don't tell your boyfriend. But this girl's out. What do you say? Well, um, you're married to the silver fox. Yes, yes. Do you no. see what people say yes, about him on yes, Facebook? And, yes. Uh, so what happens in real life? No, well, you know I like that other women admire him, and I'm secure that nothing's gonna happen. Like I, you know what I mean? So yeah, he's not going anywhere. Exactly, he's not going anywhere. So I'm, I'm flattered by it. I'm okay with it. Yeah. I'm okay with it, but you know, if it was somebody I knew that was doing Saving. that. Saving. Yeah, I, I would be upset. I it's would one be. thing to think Brendan is handsome. It's another thing for her to have him saved in the Googler Schmoogler yeah. and all that. Yeah, that's creepy weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, one more. This is from Allie in Wisconsin. Oh, God. Uh -oh. What's going on? No, nothing. I'm just thinking that, you know, I thought I'd be back in the bed by 2 o'clock. <laughs> I went to the grocery store, I got the dog his food, and I'm thinking, I'm coming over here, I socialize with you. Yes. Grab myself a little uh, something to eat. But what time is it? Eat it in the car on the way home. You you could still be home by 2 o'clock. I have an HSN design oh, meeting across town that I forgot all about. Oh, gosh. And those last, like, for two or three hours oh. at a clip. Oh, no. Fabrics and stuff. Oh, no. Well, Can I you bring snacks with you? That's a long time. Yeah, they always have stuff. Okay, I mean, you know, but it's just the, I like even with snacks, I can't focus that long. That's why I don't yeah. go to the movie theater movies. Yeah. I can't focus. I mean, you see, even during hot topics, I there are so many things going in my mind. I will. You know what you need? You need one of those fidget spinners. That's what all the kids are using, and you and you hold on to it. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And you spin it, and it's for people that are fidgety. It looks like an eight track. Like, you know, the yellow thing they used to put on top of the turntable? And and, 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 and it spins. And then it. you can watch it. And then you could pay it to... Oh, forget it. I don't think it would help. But that's what the kids are using. It keeps them focused. Oh, and they're so focused. Oh, yeah, yeah exactly. Then meanwhile, they're playing and stacking them and trading them. Stupid. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so I won't get home until... Well, two and a half hours after that. Here's our last one. Okay. Allie, Wisconsin. I've been taking a music class, and I have developed a crush on one of the guys in the class. He is such a gentleman and has made a big effort to show me interest. We have conversations and love to talk about music. After a couple of dates, I really have taken a liking to him. The thing is, uh -oh, it comes. came time in our music class to perform and show what we've learned. When he got up to perform, uh -oh. he is a terrible singer. I mean, <laughs> oh. hold on, I'm not, hold on, I'm not finished with you, Allie. He's a terrible singer. I mean, really can't sing. He talked too, so much about how amazing a vocalist he is, but Wendy, he sucks. This was a turnoff. Should I let this deal, deal, deal be the deal breaker or continue the relationship for 10 to encourage his embarrassing voice? Oh Allie, God. darling. Oh, are you sure? First of all, most of the people you hear on the radio are terrible singers. Mm -hmm. You get that record deal, but you have a nice look, you know? They like how you look, and uh, you know, you're willing to go along to get along. They put that auto tune on your yeah, voice. Yeah, exactly. Everyone sounds great. You sound like Pavarotti. Yes. <laughs> so, I, you know, Allie, if this is a big deal to you, then I would say break up with him. Uh huh. But there, you know, you can still fall in love with someone who has a bad singing voice. The problem is though, is that if you project further and that love goes really far, then yeah. all of a sudden your career is going to be better than oh, his. Oh, I see. Like when I was, in, what was your interest in college? Did you have one interest? Um, I my first two years I didn't, and then I decided to go into TV production. Like it hit me that I wanted to do TV production. But it, do you mean aside from my classes? Like a talent that you could actually see. Oh yeah, no. Aside from your classes. No, I I don't have any talent. <laughs> Look. 
I can't sing. I can't dance. I tried to play the piano. I was terrible. I got kicked out of chorus in fifth grade because of my voice. Um, yeah. Insert vocal jokes. Uh-huh. Uh <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I was on the radio in college, and I have to tell you, I could not continue a romance with a sucky radio DJ. Or a good one, for that matter. Too competitive. Yeah. Because what if I'm the one right. who graduates and gets a good job? Right. Now I'm all in love with you. Right. And you got me pregnant. Right. Oh, God. Oh, God. Now, I'm yeah. going to be a radio star, and you're going to yeah. be relegated to being a part-time DJ. Some, I, I... Okay. Now, wait. Do you know what's happening on Thursday? We have a yoga instructor coming on the show. You're going to do some yoga moves. And guess what her name is? Wendy? No. Faith. You're not gonna believe Faith Hunter. She related <laughs> any relation. She's a yoga. She does yoga. She's beautiful, and she's coming on. She can show you some yoga moves. Have you done yoga before? Yes, I have. Okay, so do you know basic yoga? Do what kind of moves do you want to learn? I don't know. I'm very limber. Okay, you're limber. That's all. That's all that matters. With flex, okay. Okay, flexible. Okay, perfect. So she can say, show you some basic moves and then one challenging move. Okay. All right, that'll be fun. I don't understand why people have to go to yoga to find their zen. When I get home and I take this wig off and I sit on the bed oh. and the dog is outside and the boy is in school and the man is still here, you know, running things, that is my zen. Oh, that is wonderful. Suzanne. That sounds wonderful. Suzanne, I don't need any encouragement on how to relax. I know exactly what to what? do once I get home. <gasps> yeah. I love your coat. Yep, that's my uh, Wendy Williams HSN fur. Yes. Fur. There's two there. They're hanging there waiting for, you know, the fall, winter. I'm working on a whole new collection. Okay, good. So ahead. you put these, um, you know, at home. And okay. then yeah, that's what the meeting's about. Oh, God, Suzanne. Okay, good luck. Thank you for helping people. Oh, my God, you're, <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. So, look, so that was the lovely after show. We have to do more of these outings. Jessica, please make it long and juicy. I think they like it this way, as opposed to giving them, you know, tidbits bunch. of after shows every day. I have a question. What? Is this the jacket that you bedazzled? No, this is Saint Laurent. Oh. But I did add more patches on it. I know that it. you add patches to things. Yeah, yeah, I do. I mean, I added, I added this, these two patches. This, these were not here. Um, the old dear, is that you? This is my button. This is my patch. Um, this thing on the back is me. Nice. The wow is me. I love it. Thank you. you. You know what the problem is? And then these are the original St. Laurent patches. But you know what? <clears throat> I think that the patch thing is here, but I think sometimes people get overpatched. No, I love it. But, That's so glam. Love it. <laughs> but you can't have too many that. patch jackets. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The one good one. Like you just this. get one good love one. It. And even though... It looks cozy, okay. too. It's from, you know, a high-end designer. Yeah. Sometimes even they get it wrong. Yeah. I'm like, wait, now, hold on now. I love it. Yep, and I went to the um, store. This is a good one, right? <laughs> Two of them. High and maintenance. Oh, and, oh, and I added this, too. Chuck, remember the day we went patch shopping? Mm -hmm. And I bought these patches? Yes. And you guys couldn't quite understand why I was ruining. I didn't know. No. What you all would think is a jacket not to be. I thought you was adding stuff to it. Thank you. Charles is very talented as well. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, you bought patches too. Yeah, I did a shirt. And I still have the patches that you gave me, mm -hmm. and I can't figure out where to add them here, but I don't want any more patch jacket no. stuff. Like, it's enough. Yeah, that's you know? why I gave the other ones away. I thought I was done. Yeah. I did, like, two jackets. Come on, Chuck. Let's go um, back across the street. Mm -hmm. Where's Mike? Mike's here. He's right there by the door. Okay. Interns, look alive. These are the interns. It's the intern pit. You guys having a good time with your internships? Yeah. Everybody treating you nice? Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you get this rug? I don't know. It just appeared out of here. From my husband's office. Jackie, Kevin got a rug? He did not want this rug anymore. <laughs> and asked it to be relocated. Well? He said it was nice. It just kept getting shuffled up with his chairs moving around. Yes. All right, on that note, you got like what? The after show is now longer than the actual show. I'll see you next time. I love you for watching. Wendy. <laughs>